Ko tai ki te wā tīmatanga mō tō tātou wānanga e pāne ki te maramataka. Maramataka has a huge influence on why we do what we do and how we do what we do in our māra. For example, we look at maramataka and māra, same, same. So it's about making um, observations of our whenua um, so that we can uh, support the growth of our kai so our whanau are able to have extra modi in our kai from the maramataka. Um, we're able to fertilise at certain phases so that it has more of an effect on the abundance of kai that we're growing. So today we're here in our beautiful Mara doing several experiments. Uh, the first one was to uh, collect um, data on uh, the pH levels of the whenua and checking moisture levels as well as a uh, uh, hauhake. And the other experiment was um, looking at whakapapa of pests uh, and rodents that may harm our, our harvest, our crops. Yeah, when I first heard about the karioi wānanga, um, it was, sounded really exciting and a really great opportunity to bring people back together um, with, a, with, a, with a common kaupapa and theme. Today we're going through the maramataka and so we've arrived on Dako Nui and last week when we did the hauhaki, just to see the difference in, in the mara, in the kumara, just to open our eyes up to the tohu, the signs of the taiao, uh, what the manu are doing, what the weather is, what the marama is doing, and the effect on the kai. What we've found is with the testing, um, there's been a lot of um, high alkaline levels, um, which affects our kumara. Uh, also, um, very high moisture levels, um, particularly in this phase of Rako Nui, which is uh, a water phase, which brings um, the highest tides to its peak and the lowest tides. And um, what we've found is that the kiore uh, have been in our beautiful mara and they've been eating our kumara and we've also had um, visits from the pukeko as well. So we've harvested today because it's really important that although we provide whānau with information on what to do, what not to do, that they're able to connect and have a deeper understanding themselves of why we do not harvest in Rākau Nui. So we've harvested uh, kumara and the reason being is in the next few weeks or week or so um, our whānau will be able to see how fast the kumara have started to deteriorate um, but eventually they will eat them um, and we'll be able to make comparisons from the other kumara that were harvested prior to Rākau Nui. If our tūpuna did harvest during Rākau Nui that would be the, the first lot of crop that they would eat.